Welcome to our second JLS Short, talking about the 70s, a decade of major change in the, in the world, the United States, and for JLS. JLS success continued in the 70s as the economy, in general terms, grew quite well. JLS as a company focused on the material handling industry, specifically the crane and hoist market, but we also supplied valves for shipbuilding and speed increasing gears for York International. The World Trade Centers were built and included air conditioning from York International that had speed increasing gears that my father sold them. In 1976, of course, we celebrated our 200th anniversary as a nation. Sadly, that same year, Joe Souser died very suddenly and life for JLS would really change. It became a big time of transition, first for my mother, Polly. The support of our principals was huge and we ended up, of course, having to change some product lines as not everybody stuck with us. But our core lines continued, and for many years, we would represent a number of them. In fact, JLS represented Ruland Electric from 1955 until 2010. Variable frequency drives were developed by a whole bunch of companies, and everybody, it seemed, wanted to get into the AC drive business, including JLS. We got focused on VFDs through a relationship with Ruland and then other companies. But our focus at that time moved in the direction of electronic controls and advanced technology, which became the theme for JLS in all the following decades, being on the forefront of technology. Despite the monumental loss of Joe, the company still grew and had strong growth in part due to the high inflation rates that we had at the time, but the company kept going forward. However, the loss of Joe and her, and her husband in dealing with all the stress took a toll on Polly and Polly's health. She ended up having open heart surgery in 1978. However, she outlived a couple pacemaker batteries and lived until 2003, leading a very rich life. The stage was now set for me coming out of college in 1980 and of course I wanted to change the world. We'll see how that goes in our next segment.